What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. Hope y'all are well. Hope y'all are having, or hope y'all have a fabulous week so far. Or hope y'all have a fabulous week ahead. Sorry, it's only Monday, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get myself together. Yo, this morning has been rough already. Anyway, let's dive in and get a message before I got to go into work. Okay, honey, your girl didn't even realize that the time sprung forward, is, I guess is what it is. Oh, my God. And so, it's like, I'm so behind. And then when I woke up, y'all, I'm like running to the front door to let my babysitter and daughter in. And like, I fell. Anyway, 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 <laughs> all right, let's see, what's going on with Scorpio? Let's tap into Scorpio's energy, please, Spirit. What's going on for the collective Scorpios? Collective Scorpio messages, please, Spirit. What's going on with the collective Scorpios, please? First chakra, Archangel Michael, and man holding a heart. Okay, yin and yang at the bottom. All right, so it looks like you have... First of all, make sure you're grounding yourself with the first chakra, okay? First chakra is the root chakra. It's the base chakra. It's the first one. It's the one that keeps you grounded. It has to do with stability, security, things like that. So see, I read it. Michael holds a beautiful globe. Yeah, stability and security. Michael holds a beautiful globe of red energy at the first chakra, which is located at the base of the spine. This is the place where your sense of stability and security is stored. When this card is upright, it reveals that your energy is flowing freely regarding these issues, even if you've had problems with feeling secure in the past. These challenges are beginning beginning to be resolved at this time. Archangel Michael is with you, bringing your strength and personal stability. You are capable of taking action and moving forward on your path, so allow yourself to feel increasing faith in your own power and security now and always. So you're going to like have this energy of like security, a stability that's going to allow you to move forward. Like even no matter what you're going through, you're just going to feel stable enough because you're grounded enough. Um, so you're going to keep moving forward, which is a good thing. This is going to carry you on through something or, and then you got this man holding a heart, male dealing with family, love, or emotions. Okay. So this tender man sits with flowers all around, holding a heart in his hand. For a man, this signals a greater clarity about emotions and their purpose in your life. Hmm. There could be a more balanced approach to family and love at this time, even if these have been confusing experiences for you in the past. For some, this card upright could signal the presence of a new man in your life, one who tends to be more thoughtful and aware. Whether or not this man is a love interest or a friend, he brings a high intention to help where personal projects, family, or home issues are concerned. Okay. <clears throat> so some of y'all, y'all could be this masculine energy where you're grounding yourself more, you're needing to ground yourself more. So that uh, you could do things at a, a more a balanced approach when it comes to like family and love. Others of you, this could, like if you're a feminine energy, this could be a man that's coming towards you like this. Or this is you needing to, needing to ground yourself. Um, and then you got somebody, a masculine energy coming in. It could be a friend, love, you know, whichever. But he wants to help with something. be family projects, home issues, or anything. He wants to come in and help. So let's see what this is about. And what's at the bottom? Yin and yang. That's right. It, it's something to balance something out or some sort of balance is trying to come. Passive, act, passive and active and intuitive and logical. Yeah. What's that? Oh, the garbage truck. Lord, I know I hear something. There it is. And open her. There we go. Um, I'm not gonna read it. It's it's just let's see. In its upright position, it heralds a yin cycle where most of the action seems to be happening under the surface of things. And then this is a time of great receptivity, intuition, and gestation. External circumstances may be forcing you to go within and examine present activity. It is an especially good time for completion. So wrap things up. Okay, yin cycles often call you to be passive, yielding, and reflective. So open up to these sides of your nature. Being more than acting is the intention here. And then we got contract under there. So this could have to do with some sort of contract or something like that. All 
All right, so let's see. What is going on with Scorpio? What's this energy for Scorpio? What is going on with Scorpio, please, Spirit? What is going on with Scorpio, please, Spirit? The hangman. So something could be feeling stuck. Something could be in stagnation. Somebody needs to let go, sacrifice something. There could be a lack of direction or something. Somebody needs to see something from a new perspective. Somebody needs to stay strong in a situation. Look, Queen of Swords, the strength court. Somebody about to speak their truth, though. You, Somebody may be standing up for themselves. You have four cups because there could have been like a missed opportunity or something like that. But, um... Somebody is standing up for themselves. Queen of Swords is a very smart person. This is someone who has suffered loss and went through some sort of hardship, but has overcome it, okay, with bravery, with strength, with compassion, um, with the courage, okay? But something here is it's self-limiting. Somebody could be self-limiting as well. Somebody feels trapped. Lack of direction here. So something needs to, let's see, what, what else is going on? Because something, somebody's like hanging from this tree of knowledge, like waiting to get some sort of enlightenment and see something from a different perspective. But uh, there's some sort of waiting period. Something could be on hold. Okay. Let's see. What's going on? For Scorpio's energy. Ooh, there they are. Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody needs to move on or walk away from something. Withdrawal. Okay. Somebody may end up being disappointed. And the king of swords and because somebody's about to speak the truth okay some sort of this could be an attorney too because i've seen contracts so this could be an attorney too um but somebody is needing to make a head over heart decision yeah eight of swords but because somebody is feeling trapped restricted bound in some sort of way could have to do with the finances look eight of, look eight of pentacles queen of pentacles and eight of swords energy here Somebody has been patient. Somebody has been working, you know, very fertile energy, very positive energy, wealth, responsibility. This is somebody, a very responsible person, okay? For some of y'all, this could be, um, somebody could be self-employed, this feminine energy as well. This is, the Queen of Pentacles is also the matriarch, so she's not only concerned with herself, but she's concerned with other people also, okay? She, she's the matriarch. She's the one that turns a house into a home type of energy, but she's, this person is feeling trapped. This could be you. This could be somebody else. This could be drama. This could be imprisonment, punishment, you know, somebody could be trying to lock somebody up, make somebody feel restricted, and somebody here, there could be some sort of conversation that needs to be had. Some sort of truth that needs to be spoken. And this could also be authority. So somebody could be needing to get the law involved or a higher up. Somebody without emotions. Because it looks like somebody needs to, somebody's too attached to either emotions and need to release it. Hmm. Let's see what this is. Why is somebody, because it looks like all this trapped energy, and this is what's keeping stuff from moving. Somebody just need to move on from something, and they're not doing it, okay? Somebody need to let go. What's the hangman? What's the hangman energy? Inside scoop, a closer, a closer look nosy up in your business. Okay, because somebody digging in your business? So somebody's trying to keep you trapped because they all up in your business. Fishing for comments. Yeah, they own, They could be all up in your business looking for information on you, trying to find out what you got going on. Well, that's their problem. They wouldn't feel trapped if they would stop. Why, why, why that? Moving on. Thank you, next. Because you've moved on from this person or they moved on from you, whichever. Uninterested. This is somebody you're not interested in. And then, yeah, they lost their chance or you did. This is, this is a missed opportunity that somebody needs to release haunted memories flashbacks trauma and side effects there's <clears throat> cause and effect somebody needs to this is giving me like somebody is all up in your business like digging into what you got going on but this is somebody you've either moved on from or you're not interested in or they moved on from you weren't interested in you so it's a missed opportunity I mean, that's what it is Looks like a missed opportunity. Give me one more. What the hangman please do it. Bad karma. Yeah, and this is somebody's karma. Marrying for money. Because somebody could have only been with you in a connection for money or for finances. 
And so now somebody's going through bad karma and they need to release this. They need to let go. Um, photo proof getting evidence. Yeah, because there's evidence about this. Like somebody is only married to you or still attached to you for money or for financial reasons. Played out. Yeah, I don't love, respect, and admire, idolize, and fan. And this is getting played out. Somebody's tired of seeing this or something. Like it's the same show, same thing, on repeat. Dodging. You could be trying to dodge these people. Yeah, they could even like create a hate train for you or you're just trying to block these out. Some of y'all are trying to like literally escape from these people. Some of y'all is like they could have been fans at one point and now they could be like your biggest haters. Or they could have supported you at one point, or, but now they're like your biggest haters because they see that you're getting attention. They see that you're moving on, moving forward. And it's like, you leaving me behind. But this could have been somebody that moved on from you. That was uninterested in you or you just, you're trying to move on from like, let's clarify the hangman. Uh, baby, look, goodbye. You moving on from this person. Love spell, because somebody tried to do a love spell on you. What's the hangman? What's the hangman energy? Somebody's, yeah, divine masculine. For some of y'all, y'all, maybe this was your divine masculine. Look, queen bee, secure, confident, boss bee, career focused. That's that queen of pentacles energy. But then the funeral is here. So it's kind of like somebody took you out or sacrificed you or, or, you know, moved on from you or something like that. And now you're kind of like secure and focused and confident in your own energy or whichever. Flip the rose. This could be a king pin, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Hold on one second. Okay, sorry. Had to drown out some noise in the background. It's too quiet for me. Uh, Yeah, drinking, toxic lifestyle, pop the question. Okay, so at one point, this could have been, you know, maybe you were in this toxic lifestyle. Maybe you like to party and drink and stuff like that when you were younger or whatever. I don't know. It could have been last year, last month, whatever. But now it's like you put an ending to that, and now you're focusing on securing your bag, focusing on being confident in yourself, you know, stuff like that. But it's like, why is this? Give me one more on the hangman, please, spirit. One more on the hangman, please, spirit. Yeah, I left you hanging. See? No closure, no contact left on red. This person could have left you hanging. Might not have been no kind of closure, left you on red. Yeah, mirroring. And that was kind of like you're mirroring back to them their own experience or... Yeah, because we have a close look, nosy up in your business, move on, uninterested, and then they lost their chance, bad karma. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of like the roles could be reversing in some sort of way. Bad credit, debt, unemployed, and not happy. And somebody's not happy about that because they could be going through some sort of financial issues. No strings, yeah. And, I mean, they're not happy because they treated you like you was just an option, closing the cycle. So you closed out the cycle. You released it pregnancy fake news there could have been some sort of false pregnancy or something like that as well um let's see let me keep going let's see what's the um eight of cups energy for scorpio what's the eight of cups energy for scorpio an offer yeah so somebody's withdrawn because Grudge holder. Yeah, somebody needs to walk away. There's an offer coming in or somebody, there's something coming in for somebody, but somebody needs to walk away. Yeah, because somebody's doing something out of ego and holding a grudge here. And it's just, what's the Eight of Cups? Child neglect, bad parenting, scared of, hates parents. There could be children involved or this is somebody dealing, uh, dealing with uh, childhood wounds. Dirty offer. Yeah, that's a dirty offer or something like that. Y'all can have like a dirty offer coming in, like somebody wanting to, to offer you something, but it's, it's, it ain't nothing legit. What's the Eight of Cups? Like somebody trying to give you a dirty offer and that after they walked away from you, or somebody gonna have to walk away because it's not a good, it's not a legit offer. What's the Eight of Cups? Hustling, making it rain, focus on money and getting it. It could have to do with money or finances. Bottom of the deck, love triangle. But see, there's some sort of triangle situation or third party situation. Spiritual hater hates on your spirituality, light, magic, and power, and re reflecting. Somebody could th be thinking about how, thinking back how somebody's been hating on somebody. 
karmic friends. Yeah, this could be a person that was supposed to be your friend, but you can't trust this person. There's secret competition here. They competing with you. You you done walked away, honey. Or they need to walk away from this, whatever they're trying to do. What's the Eight of Cups for Scorpio? What's the Eight of Cups for Scorpio? Jackpot. There could be some sort of inheritance or money that's involved. Unexpected money. You could be winning some sort of money off of this as well. Lonely. Yeah, you could be, see, you could be getting some sort of lump sum of money or um, somebody realizes now, like, all that hustling they was doing. All that hustling they was doing with this childish energy or whatever, or over, for some of y'all, somebody was, like, using the kids to make money off of them or something like that. You could be coming into a jackpot, but um, an inheritance. Maybe somebody owes you some money. Somebody's feeling lonely. Now, what's Eight of Cups? Curious about you now yeah now somebody's wondering about your money or your stability or your finances yeah kissing look kissing booty fishing for comments give me one more on this eight of cups clarify eight of cups somebody trying to escape from something that's owed to you rejected now somebody feel rejected and broke but yeah somebody feels rejected always partying because somebody okay now this person, so you could have been with somebody that was, and y'all could have been in a toxic connection together. You could have put an ending to the toxicity and you just focused on your bag. You were confident. You focused on your career and stuff like that, right? Um, And you could have did that because like this person here, they could have left you hanging. Like they could have moved on from you or whichever, or they thought they was going to keep you in this toxic cycle and you just kind of moved on from it, okay? But I feel like this person could have left you hanging, left you no contact, left you on red, you know what I'm saying, no type of closure, and now it's like, now that you're moving up, you're moving on, you've kind of focused on your bag, you focus on securing yourself, stuff like that, this person has to walk away, they're trying to hold a grudge against you, they're trying to like, it's like they tried to offer you something, but with a child neglect and hustling, they could have did some kind of shady with children or just being childish because of our own childhood wounds. And now it's like they're either watching you hustle and get to the bag or because of whatever they tried to do, hustle you when it came to kids or their childishness. Now you're getting a payout. So this could be like a lawsuit for some of y'all. This could be a lawsuit. And now somebody's curious if they can get you rejected or now somebody's curious about you because now they see that they're getting rejected. They're not getting this. Somebody going to have to let go of something. Somebody going to have to let go of something. What's this Eight of Cups for Scorpio? What's the Eight of Cups for Scorpio? Karmic ties. Yep. This could be somebody you have children with or jackass. Yeah, somebody was being a jackass here. So somebody kind of like, yeah, spiritual. Chaos, ego death, downward spiral, spiritual awakening. Somebody's about to have their, uh, somebody about to go through an ego death. Because somebody could be too far in their ego, thinking like they're right in a situation. Like, like oh, I can do this to Scorpio and ain't nothing going to happen. But somebody is going to have to realize they're going to have to withdraw from something. Police station, some of y'all, the police could be involved. A shame, guilt, embarrassed, and in the wrong. Bumping heads. Yeah, y'all could have gotten into like an argument, secret. Somebody could have been keeping secrets or trying to hide something. And now it's coming out with, you know, how trifling somebody is. What's the eight of cups? Or how much of a jackass somebody was being? Moving on, letting go, loving you, and free. Yeah, and this is going to allow you to move on. Or they need to move on and let you go. Yeah, because it's like they're trying to keep you trapped. Reckless love. Closing the cycle. This could have been somebody that went out and had some sort of reckless love, reckless sex, you know, and tried to trap you. For some of y'all, this could have been somebody trying to trap you with a baby, trap you with, uh, I don't know, trap you in something financially. Blocked. Off and on, hot and cold, detached. And ghosting. Yeah, you could have this person blocked. You may not even be communicating with this person. Because they kept ghosting you or they kept, they, they kept being off and on or hot and cold with you, detached. So you finally just detached from them. And now it's like you just kind of moving on from this person, but because you didn't want a dirty offer. You wanted something legit. And now the police could be getting involved because somebody was just being a whole jackass to you. Like they could have been, and again, like say this is somebody you have kids with. Instead of 
giving you what what you what you deserve for the kids like child support and stuff like that they wanted to try to like use that money for something else or like take that money from you some of y'all could be coming into some sort of inheritance or something and like now they're trying to take that from you or you know now they realize they kind of screwed themselves they're, they're gonna have to walk away because somebody's just being a jackass and it's like whatever they did to try to hustle or get a hustle off of like say okay say this is a person like they was like oh i'm not gonna pay my baby mama child support or baby daddy child support because sometimes me and have kids too I'm not going to pay my baby mom or baby daddy child support. And then they using that money, living their best life, doing whatever they want to. But then when it all catches up, then it's time for them to pay that back. Then they like looking like boo-boo the fool. Like, well, uh, what, what, what? You know, now they like, oh, but I'm broke. I ain't got no money. I can't do that. I can't afford that. Da, 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 da. And it's like, but you was being a jackass about it at first, you know. Like, you didn't want to help. You thought you was balling. You thought you was living your best life, all this and all that. Now that it's catching up to you, I mean, that's it's karma. They could have just left you hanging, left you doing it by yourself. Others of you just could have been somebody with, like, childhood wounds. Like, maybe y'all got an apartment together because there's some sort of contract that's tying y'all. It's karmic ties. So it could be something legally, some sort of binding, some sort of uh, commitment. I don't know. Like, if y'all had an apartment together and this person was childish and they were like, oh, I want to go out and live my best life and go move in with somebody else or go live with somebody else. So they left you hanging, left you with all the burdens. Their name was on the lease or something like that. And guess what? They got to pay all that back. Now you're getting a large sum of money and now they looking crazy. They over here feeling rejected. Like, well, but I want what you got. No, you left me hanging, remember? You can't just come. That's your karma. <laughs> I don't know. What's the king of swords? For Scorpio, what's the king of swords for Scorpio? Dust it off, yeah. And somebody may be telling them, like, nah, buddy, you gonna have to dust this off, you're gonna have to move on. You 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 don't get to get that. Kissing, yeah, kissing ass. Um, what's this king of swords energy? Child services. See, some could be with child services, child support, child services, kids at risk of being taken, type of energy. Man for money. For some of y'all, this person. The whole relationship started off wrong anyway. Like, this could have been somebody that only got with you because of what you had financially. Like, they only stayed stuck to you because you could financially support them or because they were codependent in some sort of way. This could have been a codependent connection, right? What's the King of Swords for Scorpio? Clarify the King of Swords. If it's not children, child services, this could have been somebody that was, like, in child, uh, child care or child custody when they were younger or they went through, you know, something you know, tr trauma, some sort of trauma as well when they were a kid. But it's like, you know, they, they, they don't, they're not taking time to heal from it. Instead, they're just kind of like allowing it, that trauma to kind of, <clears throat> you know, hurt people, hurt people. And so, and somebody might be telling them like, you got to let this go. Karmic friends. Yeah. This may be somebody that you can't trust anymore. You feel like this is somebody that's in uh, secret competition with you. There's always a lot of tension between y'all's uh, communication or conversations or something like that. Just keep your friends close and your enemies closer. And then fake flexing. Acts rich, flosses money, acts fancy, shows off, etc. And lonely. This person could have been the type of person that was hanging around fake friends, listening to fake friends, cut you off, didn't care. You know what I'm saying? They was out here faking the funk. Acting like they got way more money than they got. Now they out here feeling lonely because they don't have the one true friend. Maybe you were that one true friend that always showed up for them, that always helped them out, that always had their back. But they cut you out. You see what I'm saying? They cut you out. Acting cold, girl fight, arguments, physical fight, at war and competing, and obsessive lover. And it could have had to do with them putting you in competition with another person. There could be like a toxic lover, okay? A uh, possessive lover. Or this is how they're holding on to you. They can be possessive. Giving money, yeah. Some of y'all, this person holding on to you because you always gave them money. You always gave to them. You always supported them. You always provided for them. And now they realize now that you're not doing that no more. Now they out here faking the funk. And it's like, you don't have that connection with me anymore. We not friends. You showed me your ass. You my enemy now. Like, you need to just move on and let it go. Like, move on and let it go. Goodness. Let's see. What's this King of Swords about? Somebody need to use their head over their heart because somebody's not making the right decision. Like, what's this King of Swords for Scorpio? Rejected. Yeah, somebody is feeling rejected now. Love spell. Sweet talk. See, somebody used to could sweet talk you. Yeah, look, too late. Somebody used to could sweet talk you, love bomb you and stuff like that and get you to, 
you know, get you to give to them again or get you to to believe in what they trying to do or sweet like sweet talk you into something, right? Their conversation used to work. It's not working no more. They could used to fake it like, oh, no, we're friends. I'm cool with you. But it was all due to money or finances or something like that. They can't do that no more. What's the King of Swords? What's the King of Swords? Yeah, closing this cycle because you're letting it go. You've already let it go. Happily single. Doing you dating, stress-free, setting goals, career focus. You focus on your career. You're happily single. You're out here living your best life. You know, or trying to at least. And this person blocking you. What's the King of Swords, child? King of Swords. Turning your back. Yeah, you not turn your back on this person. Okay, I'm good. I'm almost done. Yeah, you turning your back on this person. This person, again, psycho. Crazy ex, obsessed, won't let go. And this person will not let go. Some of y'all, this is an ex. Some of y'all, this is a friend. They've are, for you, yeah, Jezebel. They want to be in this Jezebel energy or they got with the Jezebel, whichever. And so you was like, okay, bet. I'm just going to go be happy by myself. And instead of this person letting you go, they want to hold on to you because of finances. Like, no. Or because, oh, no, but you were a real good friend. I want to, I want you to be my friend because you used to support me better than the person I got with. That ain't my problem. That's not my problem. You don't get to hold on to me like that. What's King of Swords? Romance in reverse. There is no love here. You don't want to date this person. You're not interested. First storm. Karma, drama, endings, loss, mental breakdown. It's fair. This is their karma. You got two cards of karma coming out. Bad karma. You, there's no more love there. There's no more love there. Fucked up over you. Workplace affair. For some of y'all, this person could have had a workplace affair. Yeah, you could have found out about it. Spiritual gifts is here. Maybe you had to use your intuition and, and, and kind of move through the situation to find out what was going on because this person wasn't being honest. You know? Under pressure, anxiety, decisions, time's running out. They know that time's up. Like, they can't keep holding on to you. Step up because you love yourself too much. Like, no, baby. I love myself enough then to stick around for this. I'm closing this cycle out. It's, it's done. There's no more love here. Give me, give me another card here with the King of Swords. Sweet talk. See? They're going to try to come in and sweet talk you, and it's not going to work. Happily single. Doing you, dating, stress-free, setting goals, and career focus. This person could have stressed y'all out at that they could have really stressed y'all out there's some sort of conversation that's gonna be had like no i can't do this no more this you fake it wrong it, no no anything else like you may not even be you may not even see this person as a romantic partner at all anymore i know mean, not interested let's do one more shuffle All right, let's see what we have. March, the month of March could be, I say, this is March. Okay, so something could be happening this month that could be significant. We have April, we have Aries, H, Ooh. August, R, J, D. Somebody's name could be R, J, Q, N, E, Pisces, Z, O, C, Libra, Gemini, P, A, E, X, Z, Libra, L, and February. So, that could be significance. February, Z is in zebra, E is in Elizabeth, A is in apple, X is in x-ray, P is in Paul, Q is in Quincy, J is in Joseph, H is in Henry, R is in Robert, D is in David, April, Aries, Z is in Zeus, August, Pisces, Libra, O is in O'Neill, C is in Kathy, N is in Nancy, Gemini, E is in Elizabeth, uh, yeah, L is in Lucy, and Libra could all be of significant here in this tarot reading. So I'm going to leave it there. Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I hope it brings you some clarity and some insight. I sure wish this energy would move on out. I don't know who this is. This energy keeps, it's kind of like a similar story right now that's going on. So hopefully the energy will be kind of like shifting on out. But um, 
But yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, y'all.